Hey, it's Pete with GCI Turf, and I want to talk to you for a second about what you may or may not experience in your yard over the course of the next month. Uh, for our existing clients that we've had for years, you know I've been preaching this for years, and to new customers, this may be something totally new to you. So I just want to explain a little bit about it. Um, Rhizoctonia saloni, brown patch fungus, uh, tall fescue turf is very susceptible for it, to it. It's a lawn disease that shows up after periods of warm, humid weather in the addition to rainfall, which we've had all of that. That combination has been present in the past few weeks. If you can see here, I've t intentionally left this area untreated so you can see what, it's look, what it looks like. If we get down really close, this is one of the ways you can identify it, is if you see the lesion on the leaf. Let me get one here. See the little lesions, the little black ring right here? That's a great way to uh, look at, if you inspect your turf really, really closely, you can see these lesions on the grass blade. Here's a real good one. That's a lesion right there. So what this is, it, your yard has a disease. It's no different than the mold and mildew that builds up in the corner of your shower because there's poor air circulation, holds water, uh, it's basically the exact same thing. So over the years, we have seen anywhere from the real mild case of disease to a very severe case of disease. If it's left unattended, the potential is there for it to get out of hand and be very, very unsightly. As you can see here, these yards, it has gotten so bad in it to where it has actually escalated into Pythium blight, which is an extreme fungus. For years, we've been told that fertilizing after March 15th with nitrogen is what causes brown patch. Well, I've always had my doubts about that because a healthy turf grass going into the hardest part of the year is going to outperform a weak turf grass. As you can see here, this is a, a uh, test done by NC State University and they came to the conclusion that the amount of nitrogen has nothing to do with brown patch fungus. It's simply a weather related issue. So if you want us to treat for this or want us to come out and confirm and then treat for it, and give you a cost for it, click, go back to the email and click the get a price button and we'll get a price to you right away. Thank you.